Hi, this is an introduction regarding the installation of a heat and glow fireplace blower into a heat and glow fireplace. So what we've got here are, is our control kit and our heat glow blower. It's a very, very easy install, but let me introduce the units first. There's the heat and glow fan. This is the main fan unit with a grounding wire and a main plug. And we've also got a thermostat switch, which automatically turns the blower on and off based on the heat generated from the fireplace. So as it heats up, it will turn the fireplace blower on. As it cools down after you turn it off, the fireplace blower will turn off. We've also got a speed control switch. And what this will do is allow you to regulate the speed so you get the right level of airflow and airflow sound for your needs. So what we do for the installation is first, we'll either flip up the top, or excuse me, flip up the bottom, or remove the whole front panel to get into this space, because the blower is actually going, gonna, going to go in this cavity between the actual firebox where the heat is generated and um, this space down here where the gas valve and other controls are. So first, we'll take our fireplace blower and we'll slide that into place. Now a lot of times it can be a snug fit, but if you slide that in there, you'll put it most of the way back. Probably leave about a half inch between the back wall and the blower itself. And we'll take this cord and we'll plug this into the outlet labeled fan. And what you'll notice when I plug that in is that the blower doesn't come on. And that's normal, that's a good thing. That's mean your unit has been installed correctly. Because fan, that's terminal, ne that needs to be activated by two terminals being connected. Otherwise it doesn't allow to, be, allow to be powered. The way we do that is by, instead of jumpering between these two terminals that are in there to turn on the fan, we'll actually use the speed control and the thermostat switch to connect those two terminals and interrupt that signal. So instead of those terminals being connected and allowing power straight to the fan, the terminal, or the power will go into, or from one terminal, into the thermostat switch. The thermostat switch will either allow power through or not, then that will carry on, if it allows power through to the speed control, the speed control will then allow power and a certain level of power based on where the speed control is set, and then the fan will be activated. So we interrupt that signal and based on the thermos, the temperature being right and the speed being right, that blower will, will either turn on or turn, up, turn off. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to connect up these pieces and everything you're, you need is included with this switch, including a knob for the speed control. So I'll put that up. And then I will connect these terminals. Now these are the terminals very, very close to the actual uh, fan uh, motor. There's two of them there, and we're just going to directly connect the two. Depending on your exact make and model, you may have some extra pieces over. That's OK. Um, there's just obviously a lot of makes and models of heat and glow fireplaces and they want this to basically fit all. So once I've got those two connected, I'm going to locate my thermostat switch. And there's plenty of good places to put it. Um, a lot of times they'll have some studs that you can put on some screws. You can wedge it into place. There's a lot of different ways to do that. But I'm gonna put it where this one stud is and then use an included wing nut to lock it into place. So bear with me one moment while I do this. But this will make it so that metal surface is touching that hot underside of this firebox. And that will allow this to turn on as the fireplace heats up. Now what one, one comment I'll make while I'm doing this is um, there are a lot of fireplace blowers that are specifically, um, there's got, got kind of the OEM version of the heat and glow, and then there's a lot of good um, similar units, I'll say out there, a lot of generic fireplace blowers that are the same. I mean, heat and glow is not a fan manufacturer, so they're buying it. So if you can bypass that and go straight to a fan manufacturer, 
that can get one of these to you. Instead of paying $200 to $300 for one of these blowers, you may play closer to $150 or maybe sometimes closer to $100, which is really, really nice. Got that located. I got my speed control. I'm going to set it to a low setting, say about 90 or 80% speed just to take some of that noise off. And then I'm going to flip up my fireplace and we come back in a little bit of the fireplace glowing and, going and, and glowing. And uh, hopefully this fireplace blower will turn on. And when you hear that, we'll demonstrate the speed control ability as well as show you how it kicks on based on the thermostat switch.